Howdy Earthlings! This is Max, a Celestron 90mm SLT Maxitov Cassegrain Catadiopric Telescope. I'm going to tell you what all of that means and how she stacks up against Newt, my Celestron 130mm SLT, and why she's become an essential part of my astronomical escapades. Max has a 90 millimeter aperture, which is like having a cosmic peephole into the universe. She might be a bit smaller than her big sister, the 130 millimeter, but don't let size fool you. This baby packs a punch. But what is a catadioptric telescope? Well, a refractor telescope employs a curved primary mirror to collect and focus light, directing it to a smaller secondary mirror which then guides the light to the eyepiece. A refractor telescope utilizes lenses to gather and focus light. Light passes through an objective lens at the front of the telescope before reaching the eyepiece. A catadioptric telescope is a hybrid marvel that combines lenses and mirrors. Maxitov cassegrain telescopes are one common type and ingeniously fold the optical path using mirrors and a corrector plate a lens, resulting in a compact design with a longer focal length. That makes Max a portable powerhouse. Now, you might be wondering, how does this compare to the Celestron 130mm SLT? Well, fellow Earthlings, let's talk about Newt for a moment. She has a 130mm aperture, which means she can gather more light and show fainter objects in the sky. She's a big girl and might need a bit more setup time, but deep sky objects like galaxies and nebulas pop with more detail. She's a cosmic beast for those who want to explore the universe with a bit more oomph. Max has a smaller aperture, which means less light comes in, but she's got a trick up her sleeve with a catadioptric design that combines lenses and mirrors, giving you crisp, clear views in a more compact design. It's like having a super zoom lens for the night sky. If you're wondering if Max got her name from another book character, I'm sorry to say she's not. I got lazy and just shortened Max for Maxitov Cassegrain. But if you're looking for another unsolicited book recommendation, check out Starry Messenger, Cosmic Perspectives on Civilization by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Try to put yourself in the position of aliens trying to make sense of human culture. That's what Neil deGrasse Tyson tries to do by looking at our world today and making us ask ourselves what extraterrestrials would think of us. For an added bonus, get the audiobook, read by the man himself. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. Click that subscribe button for more content from Texas Dark Skies and ding that notification bell to get notifications when new videos are posted. Take care of yourselves. And then in the words of my favorite personal astrophysicist, keep looking up.